Hi, my name is Annie Lado, and I am the Graduate Assistant of Student Organizations here at the Department of Campus Involvement. Our goal here at DCI is to connect students and support student involvement um, and development through out-of-campus experiences and to help build communities. Here at St. Cloud State, we have about 140 different student organizations, so there's kind of a student org for any type of student um, and to meet the specific needs of whatever a student might be looking for. So there's a large range of our different organizations. We have many cultural organizations, if there's a certain culture that you identify with and want to get connected with that community. Um, we have sports clubs and organizations that we work with um, the rec center, um, so like club volleyball, club hockey. Um, we have many academic organizations for most of the um, degrees that are offered or at least departments offered. We have many academic organizations and then there's a lot of just kind of fun random student organizations that different groups of students have created like there's like an anime club, there's a hat club, there's an um, arrow club, so there's many different random ones to suit the different interests and, and needs of our students. Um, students can get involved in campus activities through looking on our Huskies Connect site. Um, if you go onto Huskies Connect, just log in with your um, star ID and password, you'll find all of the organizations we have, and you can filter them by different categories. So you can select like fraternities and sororities, you could select um, sports clubs, academic clubs, cultural clubs, um, LGBTQIA plus clubs, you can filter them by depending on the interest of the club that you're looking to find and they're all listed on Huskies Connect and then when you select an organization that seems interesting to you, you can see their homepage, you can see pictures from their meetings, you'll be able to see all of the events that they have coming up and then the contact information of the um, treasurer, the president, the vice president, and the faculty advisor, so you can contact them that way. There are no eligibility requirements to participate in a student organization. Um, sometimes certain orgs might have like membership dues, um, so you can look on their site, um, in Hus their page on Huskies Connect to see if they have like membership dues, but our student organizations are open to all students. They just might all have a little bit of a different um, system to joining them. Um, and then if you're interested in creating a new student organization, if there's something that you want to see that we don't have yet, um, the requirements are to have at least five active students, um, a faculty advisor that's willing to work with you, um, and then within those five active students you need to have someone willing to be the president, vice president, and treasurer, and for those three roles there is a GPA requirement. Here at DCI, we offer lots of resources for our student organizations, um, spanning anything from helping them with event planning, if there's an event that they want to see happen, um, getting them connected with the Senate Finance Committee to try and apply for funding if an event that they're planning qualifies for funding from the student activity fee. Um, we also help advertise their events that they're having through Huskies Connect through the main event calendar that we have. Um, and then we also provide many different leadership opportunities to our student org leaders. Um, a challenge that some students have is they just don't know about what Huskies Connect is, how the site is, and how it works. Um, so they don't know that there is a master list that shows them all of the orgs, it shows them all of the events that are coming up, and all of the contact information that they would need to join the orgs. So a lot of students might think, oh, I don't really know how to get involved, I don't really know how to find organizations, how to contact organizations, but it is all on our site, Huskies Connect. Um, and we're hoping to maybe do some trainings with Huskies Connect um, on a grander scale so that more students know about it. If a student is kind of hesitant about getting involved with student organizations or they don't really know how to start, I would definitely say to go onto our site, Huskies Connect, um, find an organization that seems interesting to them, and they might be a little bit nervous to join, but I would just say send an email to the president or the vice president or whoever is listed on their um, as their contact, um, and just see like, hey, I'm interested in joining this organization, what are what do you do, what is this organization about? Um, or asking like, is there a first meeting or some sort of social that you're having with your org that I'm welcome to attend? I mean, that's a great way to get connected, and that way you can kind of dip your toe a little bit into an organization without like officially joining and being a member on their roster. You can just see like, is this something that I'd like? Just go see a weekly meeting, see if you like it, and kind of go from there. One of our student orgs that's also sponsored by the Department of Campus Involvement is our Huskies Events and Activities team, um, and they are a group that plans um, on and off-campus events 
for any students that want to join. Um, they're typically free for students. There's lots of events that happen throughout the year, so make sure you keep an eye on the events page on Huskies Connect or follow their social media um, because they have lots of events. Like um, we show movies in the cinema, so this year they've shown. I don't even remember all the movies. Barbie was the the main one, or the new Hunger Games movie. Um, uh, tomorrow they were taking students to the selfie museum in Albertville, um, so providing transportation, cost of tickets and everything are all covered from the events and activities team. Sometimes we call it HEAT, so Huskies events activities team. Um, and so they're, they're, there are events usually every few weeks, um, if not every week, with the HEAT team, and those are a great way for you to get involved with, with DCI and with other students at St. Cloud State. A great way that student organizations have impacted student experience is our all of our cultural organizations that we offer. Um, we have many, many different cultural organizations that kind of foster a sense of inclusivity and it gives voices to people from different communities and it's a great way to like get connected multiculturally here on campus. Coming up on the 21st, there is a pop-up temporary tattoo studio happening in Atwood um, where you can get temporary tattoos applied by professional body artists, so that's pretty cool. And then in the evening on the 21st, there is um, board and brush, which is like this thing where you paint on these like wooden boards, and so we have um, a group coming in to provide all of the art supplies and stuff, so you do have to register on Huskies Connect to participate, you can't just show up, but it'll be really fun and it's free for students. Students can be aware of the different events and activities that we have going on a couple of different ways. Number one is through Huskies Connect, through our um, events calendar. Any student organization that is hosting any form of event or any department or campus service that has an event will post it on Huskies Connect in that events calendar. Um, so definitely check there, um, as well as social media with Instagram. We have, there's a number of different social media and Instagram pages that you can go to, but mainly would be SCSU underscore involvement, SCSU underscore events, or SCSU Atwood are three different pages that we as DCI post on often to keep you informed. And then many of our different organizations also have their own social media. So if there's a certain org you're interested in, definitely go to their Huskies Connect page, see if they list a social media, and you can follow them on their social media too. I think that every student should join a student organization because it is such an important way to um, develop as human beings by being surrounded by a community of different people, um, having lots of social interactions. Um, and like I said, there's organizations for everything. You can have ones that'll help you with your schoolwork. You can have organizations that'll help just kind of fill your cup if there's something that you're really interested in and want to spend more time and meet people that also share similar interests with you.